All right, I have been procrastinating long enough. It's time to get these potatoes ready for planting. I'm in South Carolina. We have a very long growing season. Our first frost isn't really expected until the end of November. I'm a little late to the game to plant potatoes, but better late than never. I might get something, but I wanna show you how to prepare them prior to planting, and then we'll plant them in a day or two. I'm not gonna be planting too many t potatoes for the fall planting. Um, this is really all I have available at the moment, but we're going to be planting red potatoes and Yukon gold potatoes, all these small varieties that aren't really meant for long-term storage. Their skins never toughen up. Um, you can't really cure them, so they don't last for too long, but that's the kind of potato I like. Let them form some eyes these little shoots, little growths right here, and we need to separate the sections with the eyes um, so they can be planted individually and you can end up planting more out of just one potato. So I'm just gonna cut them up so each eye is on its own little separate piece of potato, and then we're gonna let them dry. Like this one, you can kinda see an eye starting there, small ones, not yet broken out though, but you can still separate those and they'll grow pretty quick once they're in the soil. So even the tiny, tiny little eyes have their own section of potato. I went ahead and did one of the golden ones as well. There's a little eye on that one. So let me finish cutting up all these potatoes and I'll be back. Now they're all cut up. Each potato wedge has at least one eye on it, at least the signs of one eye on it. I'm going to put them on a plate and put them in a dark, dry place so the cut ends, which are currently very slimy, will dry out and callus over. That should take about 24 to 48 hours. Into the cabinet it goes, and I'll check in a day. Okay, so it has been a day and a half, and the cut ends are nice and leathery, so they are ready to be planted. Let's go prep the beds. I'm gonna top this bed off with some aged compost, and then we'll get planting. I'm gonna plant the potatoes eye side facing up, about five to six inches deep. I'm gonna plant mine a little bit closer together than most people suggest, just because they're a small variety of potatoes. They're not your big long-term storage potatoes and they don't take up as much room. I'm probably gonna put them eight inches apart roughly. I think the gold standard is, is about 12 inches for larger potatoes. I'd have to look into that. I don't grow them, so honestly. I couldn't tell you. I laid them out just to get a rough spacing. They're pretty close together, but they'll do fine. I'm sure I'm going to regret planting them right here when it comes time to harvest, because that's a lot of leaning over, but it's the space I have available at the moment. So let's get these buried. Hopefully the mole that has been tunneling through this garden bed leaves them alone. Pretty sure all the tomato problems I've been having this year were from a mole that was tunneling through the beds because every time I try to plant something new, I dig down and collapse a mole tunnel. So that's gonna be a winter project, but I'm just gonna cover this bed in mulch, give it a good water and let it grow. I need to get a longer hose. <laughs> it won't reach all the way into this back corner. So it's about 70 days until our first frost. We'll see if anything grows. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.